Tonight, we are tracking the fallout from Wednesday's attack on the Capitol. By the numbers, yesterday's violent riots led to four deaths. Three people had medical emergencies, and a 35-year-old woman from San Diego, California, died after being shot. There have also been at least 83 arrests, 69 of them by D.C.'s Metropolitan Police Department, 14 arrested by Capitol Police. In all, we know more than 50 officers were hurt during the chaos. Well, more arrests are expected. The Metro Police Department released these 26 pages of persons of interest involved in the chaos. Tonight, we're getting a better look at the damage and destruction they caused inside. And you can see it there. They went through offices, throwing papers all over the place, smashing windows, even flipping over furniture. Tonight, Texas lawmakers are responding to critics who say that President Trump should be held responsible for inciting the rioters. Top News reporter James Grant spoke to one congressman who was in the Capitol as the rioters breached the barriers. Randy Weber serves the residents of the 14th Congressional District of Texas. He was there on the House floor amid the chaos as a pro-Trump mob started invading the U.S. Capitol. When I was sitting on the floor of the House and, and all H-E double was breaking loose and it appeared that the protesters were going to get into the House chamber and the police were doing everything they could to barricade the doors and protect all the members until finally they ushered us all out down a hall and into a kind of a secret hiding place. Now that the dust has settled, Representative Weber has time to think about how we got here. He believes the events that transpired Wednesday were deeply rooted. Weber says it was a tipping point after four years of pushback on the president and his policies. He's standing by the president saying he believes Wednesday's events were caused by an isolated group of individuals. I think you're gonna see it come out that most of them was most of it was not instigated by by Trump supporters per se, but some of the outside of violent terrorist groups. And as he stands by the president, he is also standing by his original decision to challenge the 2020 election results. He says it wasn't politically motivated, but it was an effort to stand up for the Constitution. Weber believes Democrats bypassed the Constitution and changed election laws in the six key battleground states to try and tip the election in their favor. Them going around their state legislative processes as the Constitution lays out on election laws diluted the vote for the Electoral College for the other states. Weber also says the practice of the politics of self-destruction has to stop and both Democrats and Republicans need to aim for diplomacy moving forward. James Grant, 12 News. Meanwhile, Senator Ted Cruz is facing calls for his resignation. Some Texas Democrats leading that effort. They say his role in the fight to block the certification of President-elect Joe Biden's victory empowered Trump rioters. Democrats, U.S. Congressman Joaquin Castro and his brother Julian Castro, among those who've taken to Twitter asking Cruz to step down.